Viviana and today today I hope I have a hair tutorial for you guys so before we start let me give you a quick rundown on how the plans for this hairstyle came about I was there sitting down in front of YouTube procrastinating when a video recommendation came up about croissants so what do you do when you see a croissant video and you have your hair to do? Come up with a croissant hairstyle, of course. This was really supposed to be just a filling up hairstyle, you know? A quick, easy, casual hairdo. Probably taking you like two minutes to do. And then because Viviana just extra, we got all of this, okay? We just, we just got all of this. I have no idea how this actually is going to turn out clearly because I just came up with it in my head so yeah let's get this tutorial started and hope for the best <laughs> so I'm starting out with my hair in a afro a bit dry so I'm gonna moisturize it and this is a product of a jumbo twist out about six of them I did So first I'm going to start by separating the front section of hair that I'm going to apply this croissant inspiration to. So this side is definitely lower than this side but we're gonna work with it. We meant for this to happen. So now I'm just going to take the back section and put it up in a scrunchie to get it out of the way. So with this front section, ooh, look at my puff. <laughs> and this was with a regular scrunchie and it don't look too bad, it look. Anyways, focus. <laughs> So in this front section, I'm going to separate it into four. And I'm just clipping it back with some dot bill clips. So now from here, it's just really simple. I'm just going to take each section and twirl it to the back. And then I'm going to secure it in place with a bobby pin. Okay, wait. <laughs> Listen, if throughout the video the idea changes, just work with it. Thanks. Pause! I know, I meant originally to keep this tutorial really simple. I was just going to take the front and twirl it go back with each of them. But I just came up with something else. I'm going to separate a tiny little section, it's like a little triangle. Or, or something looking like a triangle. <laughs> so with a little section I separated, I'm just going to detangle it and add a little gel to the section. And I'm going to make a flat twist going forward. And with the ends, I'm going to twist it very loosely. So I'm just going to take a little section from the right hand side of each of my previous sections. So my twists are done. So I'm going to just go back to pinning up my hair and making my little croissant. <laughs> but before pinning up the hair, I'm going to detangle a little bit. Then I'm going to add a little gel to my roots and my edges just to get everything looking nice and neat and sleek. And when the hair is nice and smooth, I'm going to very loosely twirl the hair and tuck it onto itself. And then I'm going to use a bobby pin and I'm going to secure it. Hmm, all right. Let's keep it like that for now and continue doing the same thing. Okay. 
with this last twist i'm going to pull it out and combine it with this last section this is what happens when you have random ideas and you're trying to work with it okay you do stuff and change it Are we seeing the croissant look coming together? No, not yet? Okay, we're going to pull the style together a little more by adding some hair pins and you know, kind of sticking them down a little more. So we're just gonna do it like that so it don't look so gappy. So with these little twists hanging down, we're going to accentuate these creases by just pulling it back. Hmm. So it's looking a little frizzier than I would like. But we're gonna leave it like this for now and work on the back section and then see what we can do to neaten it up. So with the back of the hair, it's very simple. I'm just gonna put it up in a puff. I already showed you guys how I did my high puff. So I'll have that tutorial up in the eye cards. But God had other plans, sweetheart. God had other plans. Yeah. So let me get you all up to date. So after putting up a puff, I just wasn't feeling the hairstyle. I just thought it needed a little something extra. So what I did was to add an extra flat twist on this side, going to the front as all the others. And with the other flat twist, instead of bringing the flat twist straight back like I was doing, I decided to cross it over the front and pin it back. And you also might notice that there's a little gold accent to the twist. I'm going to show you quickly how I got that done. So I have this gold thread, but because I am using regular thread and it is so thin, but I do want it to show, I'm going to fold the thread about six times onto itself and ensure it's long enough so it can wrap around whatever length your hair is. And now I'm going to fold it over in half, just one more time, fold it in half like this. And I'm going to loop it around the base of my twist and push the end through the loop. And this is just going to ensure that the thread is secure onto the twist and it won't budge. But at the same time, it's really easy to remove from the hair. So what I'm going to do now is to just take the loose end of the thread and to twist it around my hair. And I'm not going to do anything to the end. I'm just going to twist this around and pull it back and then just tuck the thread under my hair. I can't bother cut it or anything. Just tuck it back there, okay? Hide it. And just to hide the beginning of the thread, I'm going to use my little gold clasp. Can you see it? Yes. And I'm going to put it at the beginning. Nice, that's cute. Do I like this doll? Yeah, I think I like that better. <laughs> oh my lord! How much different type of change are your style, y'all? No, sir. All right. I think this is the final. This this is it. Are we still looking like a croissant? We still getting the croissant vibe? No? Yes? Let's just wait. Let's just wait to pass judgment, all right? Let's work on this back section. 
So I'm just going to grab sections of my puff and I'm going to roll it under. The same basic loose tuck method. It's not bad. I like it. It's not bad. But it needs a little tidying up. So I'm going to do my baby hair, brush it in, tie it down, and allow it to set a little bit so that the flyaways can lay down and get in formation. And also, I'm going to add some gold clamps to my bun as well, just to bring together everything. We're back. So I said my prayers before I went to bed and I'm hoping that this scarf work some magic and pull this style together, okay? Whew. Let's take it down. Ooh, you can see the gold peeking through. <laughs> Now this hair style turned out a lot more elegant, more dressy than I intended it originally to be, but I ain't mad at it. <laughs> I like this beginning part here, like it just looks, it just catches the eye. And hey, bonus, it's a protective style. Am I the only one? No. Okay beauties, that's my finished look. This is my hairstyle that was inspired by a croissant. We went off track a lot, but um, I'm loving the final result. I really hope you guys love it as well. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you are just visiting this channel for the first time, be sure to check out the iCards so you can get familiar with my channel and what we do around here. And if you like what you see, you can subscribe. Or if this is the first video of mine you've ever watched and you're already in love with your girl, be sure to subscribe. Okay beauties, later. Mwah. Not it hot. Going through the motion of styling my hair and washing my hair. <sighs> Anyways, I am sweating for this, so just meet me in the shower. However, I have a few tips and tricks that might help you out. Plus, this cute little accessory that I show you how to do. I mean, psh, might as well watch to the end.